You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where tonight we're here in Nottingham for Goose Fair 2022. I've never actually been to Nottingham Goose Fair before. I can't believe it, all these years you've never been. I know, I've not been, but this event's going to be running until Sunday the 9th of October, so if you want to come down and check it out. Yeah, you've got a few days left to enjoy it, and of course in this vlog we'll be capturing the atmosphere, having a stroll around, going on a few different rides, uh, looking forward to getting on a few things, including the crazy balls oh, we've got I've here. I've not been on them for so long, <laughs> I look forward to going on those. Oh, the balls are always great, we'll show you the ride lineup and capture the vibes of this fair that's back for the first time since the pandemic so yeah really looking forward to it and it's great to see goose back in nottingham well the fair is back here on the forest recreation ground in nottingham and yeah we came here via the tram only about a 20 minute ride down from hucknall we parked up there on the park and ride that's actually free and then you can pay contactless to come down on the tram i think it's like four pounds 70 for a day ticket uh, on the nottingham tram so yeah it's great and it saves driving around the city center so if you're doing that i'd recommend using a park and ride for the tram and making your way in. You want to get off at the forest stop. You don't need to change or anything like that. It's a direct ride um, straight down from that station, which is great. Oh, and the dancing started from Charlotte here already. <laughs> Outside Europe's number one family ride just there. Runaway train. Oh, baby. Obviously, we've come into the fair late afternoon into the evening, so it means it's going to be getting dark shortly. All the lights, oh, it's going to be great. You can come out and have a ride on the Pepsi Max roller coaster as well. I actually did this last year. I think it was uh, Ilkeston Fair where I went on that. Oh, yeah, back from Florida. <laughs> hey, thank you. I love it. There you go. Um, but yeah, if you want to ride on the Pepsi Max, you can do down here exactly. <laughs> on the simulator. They are classic, them simulators, aren't they? They used to be absolutely everywhere. You don't see them around very often now. They always give me like roller coaster tycoon vibes. Somebody used to love them in RCT. Well, yeah, what's great about the setup here is you've got this massive straight run just here. Lots of different shops, lots of juvenile rides down here as well. You've got a fun house, obviously the little runaway train coaster down there. There's not loads of big rides down at this end. Uh, this is kind of just like the walk in from this side. Well, just literally down the street just here from the other one and we got the runaway train europe's number one children's ride this one so we got the number one family ride down there and uh, europe's number one children's ride just down here oh you gotta love it lots of food around here oh you love mini vegetable spring rolls yeah we might have some treats later on and we've already been to the toilets and normally at some of these events the toilets aren't great however Really good loos, aren't they? Yeah, they are good, which is nice. It's better going in these proper cabins than the little oh, porta loos, like, port like them ones over there. I've got a phobia of porta loos, I hate them. <laughs> yeah, these ones are really nice. Premium, and obviously it's free to come into the event and then you pay for rides. So, a lot of the enjoyment you can get from a fun fair, to be honest, is just walking around, soaking up the atmosphere. You don't need to go on loads. And yeah, going to do a few rides. However, we've got Hull Fair coming up next week. I've never been to that one either. Oh, Hull is absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's my favourite fair in the UK, actually, Hull. So, yeah, we've got that coming up. Of course, Winter Wonderland's up there at the top if you class that. But in terms of like a normal fun fair, um, then I would say, yeah, Hull Fair is my favourite. So, we've got that coming up next week. Back for this year, a goose fair tradition. You got the traditionally cooked mushy pea stall just over here. Three pound for a pot, a nice mushy peas just over there. Fantastic. How's that sound for you? What are you supposed to put with them? You just eat them in a pot of mushy peas. I think so. Yeah. Where's the chips? That's oh, you have to get them from another store. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, loads of food down here. Like, look at this, full street full of lots of different food. All your different candy down here, some nice little buildings. It's all the lights that make it. I like these wooden huts actually, like the Bavarian style. And all the smells as well. Oh, it's lovely. This has got to be the fanciest looking slushy stall I've ever seen. Look at this, got all the moving heads up there, all the lights. Look at that, it's pumping with the slushies. All the screens as well. Blimey, that is advanced for a slushy stall, that is. Yeah, loads of food all the way down here. Oh, I love the big frying pans. That's the thing, it's so much more than just the rides here at Goose Fair. Loads of stalls to look around as well. And of course, we'll get around some big machines shortly. You can see them just to the other side here. Yeah, this is all like the food section. We'll take a right shortly. That's a good shot there. Some of the big rides going around. We've got the Mac 5 just there. We've got a couple of Star Flyers as well. 
Yeah, definitely go on one of the tall rides. Probably do the Ferris wheel, actually, give you a nice aerial perspective. I think it's always nice going on a big wheel at a fair like this, just to kind of look over it all and see it from above, especially when all the lights are coming on. Now, we actually started our vlog down at the back of the event because we walked down there first to have a look at the food options. However, this is the tram stop, so it's literally right out the front. This is the forest stop, and then you walk straight into the fair just over there. So, yeah, it's nice and easy to get the tram down here to the event. Here we go then, back inside, and we're going to have a look around some of the bigger rides now then. We've got Limbo Dancer just over here from Miami. We've got another booster off to the right just here as well. Walter down there, another extreme Dodgems, lots of rides. I've seen all the lights. Yeah, it's really pretty to look at. That's the thing at a big fair like this, you're always going to get lots of repeat rides as well. That's the thing they need them, especially with how busy it does get. We had a little bit of rain earlier on, so I think that's probably why it's a little bit quieter than usual at the moment. Well, I've been to a lot of fun fairs over the years, but I've never seen this before. And you know what? I'm going to make this for first attraction of the night. Spooky Tower, haunted house is here, £3.50 per head. Bodies go free. Oh, I see. There you go. That's a funny little pun. Got like this little animatronic out the side here on the rocking chair. <laughs> let's go inside. Step forward for the next one. So here we go. Yeah, let's uh, yeah, go and give this a go. Are you coming in, Charlotte, or not? I'll, I'll go and investigate here at the haunted house, see what it's like. Yeah, what a way to start. I've never seen this before. Here we go. I don't know what to expect there, Charlotte. I don't know, we're going up a spiral staircase. You know, we have a dark ride and haunted walkthroughs. Oh, we got some spooky handprints just on there. <laughs> oh, we got a nice view from here already. Look at this. Step forward, step forward for the haunted house already. Oh, this is quite creepy actually. It feels like it's been built in someone's back garden. I think there's going to be some sensor activated stuff in here. Maybe not him. Oh, the floor's vibrating. I think that's downstairs though. Oh, look at him. He's spooky. <laughs> oh, I recognise these. Jewel anyone? However, probably not for long with all the work they're doing to it over winter. But yeah. Oh, still got me. What are the portraits there? Found in Jewel at Alton Towers. Yeah, these are just generic stock ones that you can get online. That's creepy. Oh my god, look at this! Massive horn's just gone off. I didn't get it on camera. Look at her shaking down there. <laughs> Did you hear that horn then? <laughs> oh! Oh, downstairs we go. No scares on the stairs, please. That horn was loud. <laughs> what a creepy way to start the night. Oh, that's it, audio off. Oh, look at him. It's actually even creepier without the music. Oh, <laughs> all the body parts and limbs around it. <laughs> well, there we go. Oh, that's it. That's the haunted house. That was good. Well, sometimes these haunted attractions and ghost trains and fun fairs look amazing from the outside, such as that, and aren't very good on the inside. But however, I thought that was okay. It was pretty atmospheric. Some nice uh, animatronics throughout there as well. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a nice way to start the night, that. There's another view there of the Mac 5 booster just here as well. Good to see Fighter down here. We know Void's here as well. Void's fantastic. May have a go on there later on with the lighting package. Oh, good old Walter over here as well. You get a lot of Walters. Yeah, I've done Mac 5 before. I think it's okay, but it's not one of my favorite boosters. But I do really like the uh, signage just here. That looks cool. Oh, I don't think there is one. No, don't worry, there'll be a Tagner in Hull. 
I hope, I hope so anyway. Here we go then, up next I'm going on high roller just here. Because I don't think I've done this before anywhere. I thought I had at first, but yeah, just thinking about it. I don't believe that I have. Here we go then, four pound to ride. I don't really know what to expect from high roller just here. Like I say, I'm pretty sure I've not done this before. It looks a bit like a Super Bowl that's been retrofitted to be honest. I don't know if maybe it used to be. Here we go, looking forward to this shot. It's gonna get a few off-ride shots as well. I'll be in action on here. Nice evening for it now. Gave out rain, but hopefully we're gonna be okay. That's you too. It doesn't just mean Halloween, it also means fun fair season as well, which is great. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Woo! Oh! Oh, it's pretty forceful actually. Oh! Oh! This is good. Intense and smooth. That's how I like it, viewers. Oh, what a view. Central piece just there. Uh, blimey, this is forceful. <laughs> this is good. I like it. Oh, I think the light levels are getting just good enough to go on that big wheel now. You don't want to go on when it's pitch black. Well, the view's good then too, but I like it just when the, you know, it's getting dark, but not fully pitch black. Oh, this is intense. Whoa. <laughs> like a Super Bowl, but a lot smoother. Feels a lot safer with the over-the-shoulder restraints as well. Oh. <laughs> Woo. It seems like he's doing a lot of the same thing. However, it's good, I like it. Oh. It's a little bit bulky these, but they're quite comfortable, which is good. these when I was a kid, these little train rides that go around in a circle, used to be my favourite they did, ringing the bell, got a fun house just there as well, two for one happy hour going on, there you go, he's got the sign hold up Charlotte, oh no, two for one, <laughs> oh is that what it is, it's not, oh, that's sneaky that is, isn't it, oh I thought it was two for one, does it mean you can go on for one price, there you go, lots of juvenile rides then for the children down here at Nottingham Goose Fair, all sorts, you got balloons, how the scouters, carousels, ferris wheels, you name it, they've got it. Yeah, lots of typical games that you get as well. Next stop, Disneyland on that coach just there. There you go. <laughs> Another Dodgems here to the left. Great lighting package actually on that one. Love all the chaser lights on there. We're making our way down towards the big wheel. Have a ride on there. Perfect time for that now with all the lights being on. We get some great views across the fair. Oh, they've got a cake walk just here as well. There you go, another classic down here at Goose. Yeah, there's the big wheel. You've got two, but this one's bigger, I think, by the looks of it. They look very similar, though. Yeah, I'll give this one a go. Mellor Starflyer is here as well now, straight from Fantasy Island down here to Goose Fair. Fun fact for you about Fantasy Island. Obviously, it's owned by the Mellor's group. And yeah, Mellors are from Nottingham. Their yard is actually only a couple of miles down the road from the park and ride in Hucknall. So yeah, when you drive into that, you may just run into the Mellors yard, you see it. We actually just saw Ice Mountain, all the theme packed up, didn't we, for that? There you go, the one only Ice Mountain. There we go, and here's the spinning coaster itself just over here. There you go, Magic Mouse. 
Yeah, another big wheel just there. I love fun fairs at night now. Look at this. Yeah, classic spinning mouse coaster. There's one down the other end actually as well. View from up here as well. It's one of the spinny ones as well, just here. Yeah. I won't spin it too much though, Charlotte. Don't worry. We want to appreciate the views. Here we go. Oh, we've barely left the ground, and look at this awesome view already over Nottingham Goose Fair. Back for 2022. This is magical. Look at this. Wow, look at that. This is why I say it's the best time to come on to get all the lights. But it's not pitch black yet either. Wow, what a view. Star flying just there, both of them. Wow, all across Nottingham. What do you think of that? It's lovely, isn't it? It is, all the lights. Magical. Look at all the trailers down there as well. All the caravans. Yeah, we started down in that corner with the vlog. Woo! Look down through the structure. Looks like it's going to be getting busy. Look at all the cars coming in. Wow. Yeah, you really do realise the scale of this event. It was a big loss for Nottingham in the past couple of years, not having goose. amazing what a way to just capture the ambience the atmosphere the sights and the smells of the fun fair well it might be a bit windy but we're stopped up here now right at the top a big panoramic view now all across the fair absolutely amazing just to come on this and see it all obviously you see it from the star flyers as well however there's nothing quite like coming on a big wheel and seeing this and what a perfect place to stop as well and maybe have a little spin what do you think yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh fantastic yeah ice jets just down there we've seen void in the distance we've got the crazy balls that we're looking forward to yeah, there's no tagging on, unfortunately. Shame about that. Well, we've had a lovely ride there on the Ferris wheel. Not the longest of cycles. We only went around twice. However, we did stop at the top. Oh, I really enjoyed that. It's so magical seeing all the lights. It is. That's the beauty of these fun fairs, especially the massive ones like this. You go on something like that and you just appreciate the size, scale of the event. Absolutely brilliant, it really is. Really enjoyed it. Right, we're gonna have a stroll now around some more of the ride and get some more attractions. Awesome lighting package over here on the storm. Yeah, they got the moving heads shining all down here. Yeah, they look great. Thank you for Super Bowl just down here as well. So yeah, obviously the ride that I went on earlier made me feel like it was actually a Super Bowl before. I don't know if it was or not, but just the way it was, it kind of felt like a different version of the classic Super Bowl that you can see just here. Except all that's different with this is you're actually sitting, of course, in a different vehicle. But yeah, just the same kind of thing, just spinning side to side that you can see just here. Extreme just over here. We've seen quite a few of these. I think there's at least three at the event just here. Lots of repeat rides when you come down here to Goose Fair. Another Dodge just over here as well. 
Loads of dodgers. Yeah, we're going to stroll down the left-hand side now because I think the crazy balls are down here. Boyd is also in this direction as well. Here we go. Drop zone, Miami. Another one it's down here. Might get a lot of repeat okay, rides, right, however, on, they all look go. different with different lighting packages on there as well. But yeah, the big wheel was great. I'd 100% recommend going on there. Lots of juvenile rides down here. Look at the big monster trucks there. Oh, look at the big octopus just here. Absolutely massive. He's bigger than you, Charlotte. Oh, look at the size of him. <laughs> He's got a massive head just there. <laughs> oh, look what we got just over here then. A Sean favourite, a nice Matterhorn ride. Epic lighting package. It's Ice Jet just down here as well. You fancy this, Charlotte? No, I don't. <laughs> You've been on before? Yeah, but no, we're not fine. It didn't go well for Charlotte last time she was on here. On the big intense rides. Yeah, look at this. Absolutely incredible. That's the beauty with a machine like this, though. You can just stand up here, watch it in action. Lasers and everything. Right, I'm going to get on. Let's go and have a ride. I'll take you on with the POV. Ice jet, look at the steps as well, onto the pay booth, look at those. Oh yes. That's what we're talking about viewers, look at this. Here we go then on Ice Jet. And as always start out with a bit of a build up just here. Get to appreciate the awesome lighting package. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. And then we'll get
looks amazing. It's a must ride if you love a good intense attraction. The one and only Ice Jet. Brilliant, that. What an absolutely amazing experience that was. That was getting the crowds and off right. Ooh. That looked amazing, and everybody looked amazed by it. That's the beauty of something like that. It's a showpiece. The and yeah, like it does surprise me that a lot of showmen don't go full pelt with the Fantastic lighting. That looks. Because like, it really brings people in. I mean, it does, there was a massive queue waiting to get on the next one. It goes to show what you can do with some smoke machines and lights. Exactly. Absolutely fantastic, but I tell you what, we've got something coming up now that I absolutely love. It's just here on the uh, right hand side around this corner. It's the crazy bowl. Ride the bowl. Uh, uh, ride the bowl. The bowl. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. It's coming up. We can just see the flags for it. You see, just there in the distance, just behind the booster there over the falls. There we go. We've got the roller ghoster just over here. Ghost train, £3.50. And we've got the slingshot bungee there as well, some more juvenile rides and the King Crazy Circus over there as well, we better come on Eileen blasting out from there Charlotte's fist pumping, not to come on Eileen there we got some uh, dance trance music or something playing over here, here we go on the frogs, you like the frogs don't you hey, there he is I like how he's got his hand in the air, he's like yeah I am the crazy frog <laughs> here we go, yeah this should be good down here, it's always got a good atmosphere on the crazy balls so we're going to check it out. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is a good section. We got Infinity just over there. Another great lighting package on that beauty. Moving ahead to the top as well. We got New York, New York over there. And just over here, ride the ball, ride the ball. The crazy balls. And yeah, these are absolutely hilarious when these get going. Every sits in a line and the ball shakes like mad. Here we go. And then people go flying off, falling over each other. Oh, they didn't last long. Are you ready for this, Charlotte? You're going to come and ride the ball. Can you hear him on the PA? He's like, ride the ball. <laughs> Ride the ball, ride the ball, stay on the ball and ride the ball. <laughs> Brilliant there, right, let's go, get on. Look at him shaking. The question is, how long are you going to last, Charlotte? <laughs>
on tonight now. Oh, amazing. So hard to stay on, like so hard. You was off really early on there. And you were really confident, like, oh, I'm going to be fine. But it it's good you got to hold on with one hand as well. You got to get a good grip. Oh, that was awesome, that was. And I'll tell you what, in terms of lighting packages, Infinity looks amazing. I've been on this before, but yeah, the lighting looks amazing. So I'm going to give this a go now and take you on with the POV. You got it with that awesome lighting. And that's the thing with all the rides around in this area. New York's the same, and also Boyd, all have got epic lighting packages. And that draws me in. What a show! Woo! And that's the thing, it gets people watching our fries. And then people come on and spend money. Yeah, and loads of lights, loads of lasers. Woo! Oh, Boyd looks amazing. Woo! Yeah, Boyd looks so good with the lasers there as well. Whee, there's the booster. how much effort they put in with the lighting and the smoke and also as well it was nice and intense with some epic views no nah, i don't think you'd like that yeah outward facing as well quite unique actually but yeah as you can see down here right at the bottom now bottom left we've got the dragon coaster just down here and there's another spinning coaster just here as well obviously you've got another one down that end and then there's one here as well but yeah the layout very similar to how it's been before and yeah, I've always found it quite interesting with Goose how they don't have a pathway leading and connected to that end. Because where we started the vlog was actually all the way over there and a bit further down. So yeah, it just seems a bit weird really how they don't connect it up. I mean, I know you've got all the caravans here and that's probably why. However, even just creating a path through the middle and spreading some more stalls out just to make it, you know, a big square, in my opinion, will be better. But you've got the spinning mouse coaster just down here. This is all just past them crazy rides. 
that we just done. I love the bulls. That was amazing, that was. Yeah, what a great event. Amazing to see this back for 2022 as well. Yeah, like I said, we got New York, New York down here. I've not done that for quite a while, actually. They've got loads of great lighting, so I'm going to take you on there for a ride now. Fair New York, New York. Okay, so you gonna come on there, Charlotte? Yeah, you'll be all right on these. Yeah, nice fun ride. Start spreading the news. There we go. Time to go to New York, New York, baby. Let's 
go. To a fun fair without some nice hot sugar donuts just there. Four pounds for four. And then Charlotte over here has got a crepe. Oh, look at that. How much was that? Oh, there you go. Oh, that looks nice, that does. Oh, are you enjoying your evening? What a great atmosphere. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well, they were absolutely lovely. A delicious snack down here at the fair tonight. But yeah, gonna have, have a stroll around now, see if there's any other rides that I fancy doing. But like I say, we have got a whole fair coming up next week. So yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, let's have a little stroll around. Got a nice fun house just on the left there. All the camels on there as well. Yeah, much busier now. Always a great atmosphere down here at Goose. Yeah, brilliant event. Look at the size of it as well. So much to see. Wow, look 
at this, the past half hour has got really busy. Wow. Look at the queue for the Mac 5 booster over there. All the way out. Woo! Some more off-ride shots there of a variety of different machines here at Nottingham Goose Fair 2022. We've been here about four hours, we've done quite a lot of rides, captured the atmosphere, but yeah, that area around there was absolutely heaving just. Great to see people coming out here, having a good time, making the most of it. They got gravity just over here as well. This is quite a unique sticky ball. Because yeah, you can actually see inside. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, there you go. I don't think it's probably the best idea going on after a crep though. Oh, definitely. <laughs> well, yeah, that's cool. Instead of it just being like a wooden tube that you sat in. I like that. Atmosphere just over here as well. And that's something that this event certainly has. A buzzing atmosphere. But even there, they've added more lighting. Really good to see the showman adding more equipment. It really draws people in. Like, look at that. It looks so much better. Just them four moving heads up there. Really adds to it. What a vibe. What a night. incredible afternoon and evening we've had here at Nottingham Goose Fair. I've really enjoyed it, the atmosphere has been amazing. Yeah, first time coming for you I've as well. I've really enjoyed it, I can't wait to come back next year. Yeah, that's the thing, it's always come making the most of it because we're only about 45 minutes away, it's a local event and the size of this fair, I missed it so much during Covid. Oh, I've really enjoyed coming for the first time. Yeah, it's a shame we couldn't go ahead last year, however, it's back, it's bigger and better, they've got loads here, uh, they've got a lot of juvenile rides, however, as you've seen, they've got some big thrill attractions here as well. I feel like they could do with even some more big thrill rides, looking at the crowd. I think they need a few more thrill rides, quite a lot of family rides, but there's something for everyone. Yeah, that's the thing, it's a family fun fair at the end of the day, and you've got things like the big wheel, which are great to go on, uh, like you saw in the footage earlier on, the big wheel was fantastic on one of the highlights but I think for me that ride on Void is going to take it along with that the bulls are awesome oh I love those ride the ball ride the ball uh, and along with that as well of course the stunning ice jet that to be honest never disappoints but there's some fantastic machines here come down here get on the ride support the showman support Nottingham it's running through until this Sunday and of course it'll be back next year and every year now here in Nottingham We've got Hull Fair coming up oh, next I week. Can't wait. I've never done that one either. Yeah, it's a big one. I did it last year after wanting to do it for so long, and it was amazing. Uh, one of my favourite vlogs I've ever filmed, so I'm looking forward to that. That's the thing with these fun fairs. The atmosphere is so different to theme parks. Oh, it's unlike anything else. Yeah, and just like I said, just all the showmen that have got the more smoke machines and lasers and lighting. It makes a difference. It brings people in. There's a few rides tonight that I may not have done if they didn't have that. It's not just about the ride hardware, it's about the full package, the complete experience. And it's great to see more of that now. Even more to come. We did some great fun fairs in the Netherlands and we'd like to do more next year, like Germany and other areas. Um, but you know what? They've got a lot of lighting and it's good to see it here now too. Well, there we go. Thanks for joining us here on the Park Worldwide. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep on riding. riding. See you all in the next video.